Bible. So first Peter chapter two. First uh, Peter chapter two. An example we can all follow. Uh, the title of this one. An example we can all follow. And if y'all need a page number, my, my Bible is 1413. So that would help you. But, uh, first Peter chapter two and verse twenty-one. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his step. How powerful is that? That Christ suffered for us. Why? Do we even deserve uh, for him to do that? I sure don't. No. But yes, he did it for us. And let me tell you something, I've, I've seen the, the movie, and boy, that was rough to, to see Passion of the Christ. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was rough for me to, yes. to, to see that. But And to only to think that in real life, he did that. Suffering yeah. for you and us, and then, the next verse, and leaving us an example. An example. Have you ever used or seen someone? And, uh, and or maybe yourself that you want to be an example for someone else. Um, and you say, well, that we can uh, follow his steps. Well, what were his steps? Oh, my. If we go back in the scriptures, man, love, kindness, uh, mercy, and grace. Oh, and the list goes on. Amen. We're supposed to follow all those steps. Well, as, a, as, a, as believers, we should. You know, is it hard to follow those steps? Yeah, man. Yes, many times. Like I told you Sunday, that was something else. And then uh, <laughs> this uh, this is Wednesday. So um, either it was Tuesday uh, morning. You know, I was sitting there just watching traffic. And uh, uh, boy, this this lady, she uh, she didn't make this red light. So you know, Ooh, here's my <laughs> lights and everything. And it was quite interesting. And I got out of my patrol vehicle. And, I got out and I said, ma'am, you, you know, the reason, the reason why I pulled you over, I said that because you ran that red light. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Okay. I said, I'm not going to argue with you. She said, it was yellow. Mm. Okay. If you, if you say that. And then I said, second of all, ma'am, I said, uh, your tag's out. She said, no, it's not. I'm like, here we go. Good night. Uh, no. I was, Took a step back. I said, "Yes, ma'am, they are." I said, "If you want to, you have my permission to get out and go and look for yourself." <laughs> she had to think for a little. She said, "Oh my goodness, I have four vehicles, and I'm thinking of the other vehicle." She said, "She said, I'm not good at this." I said, "Well, I didn't know there was a competition, you know." <laughs> and uh, so I got a license and everything, and ran it and, and everything. And I, Hmm. Okay. Let me go back up then. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be by example. I'm gonna be the you know, the, the man here that that I'm gonna be kind and, and gracious. So I went up there and I said, man, did you know everything this and that? I said, yes, and, and I, she said, I'll, I'll get it fixed. I'll make sure I'll get it fixed. And I said, okay. I said, here's a reborn. I said, if you go get it. Boy, she went, I can tell you, she went straight to the tag office. Oh, but but her, <laughs> but her attitude had to change. But mm. she was gracious. Uh, boy, it, it could uh, go a different route, you know, if I would have not led by example. If I didn't take a step back, I told you all uh, Sunday morning about what happened. For but I knew it wouldn't matter with her uh, what I did. <laughs> she was still the man. So, but uh, to lead by example, the kiddos who lead by example. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why it breaks my heart many times when when parents have kids and boy, you know, like, oh, you shouldn't be parents. You know, you shouldn't be parents. Bless their little kids on mm -hmm. um, but, but not just that, but what about brothers and sisters in Christ? Oh, uh, you know, we're talking over here. Uh, you shouldn't be saying that. But could you imagine a lot of people talking about Jesus? And he just threw him off the shoulder and he still loved him. He still uh, 
gave him grace, and then guess what? He suffered for us, for them. He suffered for people that would never come to him. Can you imagine? Could you imagine if you suffered for someone that would never come to you, uh, that wants you to be their Lord and Savior? Or could you imagine your little child being suffered, knowing that not everybody's going to accept the gift? Oh, that would be heartbreaking for me, and that would be hard. I'm not, I'm guilty. I could not do it. But yet we have, we have a God that did. Amen. That uh, he said, I'm going to live by example, no matter what. Who, oh, verse 22, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Who did no sin? Can you imagine walking on this earth no sin at all. Even when the devil tries to trip him up, he's like, mm -mm, nope. Only you can worship. Of course, I'm paraphrasing my father in heaven. But he sinned not. Verse 23. Who, when he was revived, revived not again. When he <laughs> suffered, he threatened not, but co <clears throat> committed himself to him that judges righteously. Could you imagine somebody yelling and screaming and probably calling you every name? Yet there ain't it threatening. When he was on that cross, he was telling his father, forgive them. Forgive. Jesus being so nice and, and knowing what he went through and he telling his father, forgive them. Could you do that? Could you do that? I know many times, oh, you're talking bad about me mm -hmm, or my family or this and that. Oh, guess what? I got one hook and I got another hook. But Jesus threatened not me. Amen. 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by those stripes that were healed. His own body. He knew what he had to do. Bear everybody's sins. When I think about him, just bear mine. Boy, it, break, it breaks my heart because I know I fall, but yet he's there to pick me up. But could you imagine seven billion people? Of course, that wasn't the population back then, but still, it's there for seven billion people. Mm -hmm. And yet he was on that tree <coughs> that we should <coughs> dead to sin, that we should live unto righteousness. He did it for we to live forever with him. Boy, I tell you what, how comfort it is that to know you did that for me. And yet you had, Lord, you had your son to walk perfectly on this earth. So we could be an example. Yeah. Same as you and I. Oh, is it hard? It is. If we work with people, we do. <laughs> I told people, uh, and even my coworkers, can I find a job that I could just be in a little cubby hole? I don't have to deal with people, just mm -hmm. uh, paper. I think that would be great. But yeah, when we do deal with people and they don't tend to be nice to us, Oh, many times we, we want to do other things or say other things, but guess what? Jesus didn't do that, did he? He did. He shows that love no matter what. That grace and that mercy. My God, they deserve worse. I mean, just get them. Get them. He, he reminds me because there are many times, oh, somebody just. Keep on, keep on. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lord, Lord, help me. Really, help me. Because if I was, let me just five minutes, let me be in control five minutes. I, I think I, I can make this situation even better. Yeah. But guess what? He's not looking through my eyes. He's looking through his eyes saying, Grace, I still love him or her. Yeah. I died for her, for him. I died 
God can use. And there's many times we hear sin is a sin. And in God's eye, it doesn't matter if it's a little sin, or we think it's a little sin compared to a big sin, but it's all the same. And sometimes I look at that and go, oh, Lord, you're right. How many times have you ever said that to God? God, you're right. I need to lead by example. There's many times I want to crawl in the hole and I say, God, don't look at me. I, I, oh, don't look at me. But then he said, with his, his love and his mercy, he says, it's okay. It's okay. And we need to be examples in this world. Is it hard? Yes. Being a Christian, being a born-again believer, never meant to be easy. Because we see it. Uh, we see people criticize. Uh, they call us names. But guess what? They did the same to Jesus. Yeah. The world wasn't fair for him. Why should it be fair for us? That's right. If, if uh, uh, Jesus walked on this perfectly, I know we can't be perfect. We sure can try. Because our Father in heaven gave us the ultimate and great and awesome example you can imagine. Amen. Amen. Let's pray.